what time is it? Your show. Yeah, what time is it? Your show. Yeah, what time is it? Your show. Yeah, he's back from the dead. Your Put show. Put it on the map, yeah. Saskatoon. Right next to New York. New York. Scary man. Yeah, what show, yeah. Your show. What time is it? Your show. Yeah, time to talk some shit, yeah. Your show. Scary man. Yeah, fun Maggie. Bark, bark, wolf, wolf, move on to treat, yeah. Keep listening. You will not be disappointed. I got juice all over my face here. And I'm out of breath. It must be a Monday. Hello and welcome to another week of your show. My name is Gary. So nice to uh, see you again as we had a beautiful weekend shout out to my mother who had a lovely birthday i think she just turned uh what is it 29 again to sort of weird math wise i'm pretty sure i'm older than 29 but that's how it goes had a lovely party out at echo bay hello to everybody who was there and uh, thank you for coming and celebrating mom's big birthday and now we get back to work which is what life is all about and over the weekend we had another football game, and we have a guy who is a specialist, a guy who right next to Jamie Nye from the Green Zone, the greatest to ever do it. He's right there. This, I guess the uh, champion in waiting, we could call him, as the, the next Rider Insider. You know him from the viewing room. You know him as the face that has built this place, and you know him as a guy that we all love and appreciate so much around here. His name is LB. <laughs> Tough crowd. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, thank you. Better. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun because you came in here and I could just see your arm. I was like, I guess I better introduce it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, Mondays, by the way, around here, we release Pulse Power with Aiden. So there's another great workout for you to enjoy and get that body back into gear. Maybe some riders might need some Pulse Power with Aiden. They, they that, might, eh? yes. Or maybe the might. fans even more. I the feel stands like were looking pretty good. You well, know, the fans. Because the fans seem upset. I feel like every yeah. week there, there's a rider game. Somebody wants to complain about the challenge center. Is that what it's called? Command, command center. center. Oh, the you command center. You know what? Center. This I'm week, so the command center, this. they obviously got their slap on the wrist. But we know, we got, we know they got their slap on the wrist. Um, but they took it to heart, and they didn't overturn any calls. They, didn't, they, they were very quiet in this game, um, thankfully. Until the end? With the out of bounds step, do you know yes, where I'm going it was, here? Okay, it was, it was out of bounds, and they they didn't overturn it. So I think they've almost gone too far the other way now, in uh. that they're afraid. I think that 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 one was a case of they to, they were they were almost afraid to overturn anything because of all the scrutiny. Because of all the scrutiny they've been under, right? So That's I think point. they probably got told, you know, off the record, yeah. just don't do anything for you know. A while, Give it some time, Give let it some time, breathe, let people, people cool down, chill out. Yeah. and then we can go back to screwing over games, you know. Oh, okay, well, and I know the bigger story here, because everyone just loves to have something or someone to blame, but the bigger story, Brett Lothar, Brett who is a hell of a kicker. You know, he's been, he uh, been tops in the leagues kicker. for a long time. Yes. And it was so refreshing to see an athlete come out and say my bad. Nobody yeah, ever he does did. that anymore. He, did. he yeah, came he out, took he took responsibility. all the responsibility, which I think eliminated a lot of that controversy. Well, people are still calling for his head. Yeah. A lot of people are. I mean, he missed four of seven, um, which is not good for a kicker. Nope. And some of them were, and it wasn't like he was missing from 50 yards out. They were like, there was some like 30 and 35 ones that he missed. And okay. and that, and you, you know, like I said, a lot of people are calling for his head. They're not happy That's about it. it. But I just, I mean, he's been a solid kicker for years. I mean, he's been the kicker on the riders for like yeah. as long as I can remember. Literally. And I've never had any problems with him. And so he choked one game. It happens, right? That's not that's not a reason to fire him. I mean, you know, if we fired a coach after every time they lost a game, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just... You're not going you know, anywhere. Right? Like, yeah. it takes a season or two of, of really, really poor performance before they fire a coach, you know? Yeah. And so why should players be held to a... To a a much standard. higher standard yeah. right like because i mean i mean if they're if he's been messing up and you know choking for two seasons oh, then wow. sure let's yeah. let's talk about it but one game you know in saskatchewan it's always you're one game away hey? and i think it was they're it was on your side until they're not and i think he was under extra scrutiny simply because he um we would have won the game if he hadn't missed yeah, those. That's really the, that's i mean that was the, that was the that was the problem is just that it the that that was what lost the game. Yeah. Like, 
It's unfortunate, but that's the story. So we sit here now and we look back and the Riders, a game, just like the uh, Elks game, the trap games we call them, like you knew it was coming. You got Trevor Harris. But how, okay, what's your, give me a full review of Trevor Harris. What do you think? First game back after, what, six games out? Yeah, I was surprised that he was looking as good as he was. Really? Okay. Yeah, I expected that he, after he was off for so long that he would be a little bit rusty. But if this is rusty, then we're looking pretty good. You know, yeah. like I, I was, uh, he made a few, there was a few incompletions. I think he threw two interceptions in total, which is pretty good. That's like, not that's, bad. you know, yeah. um, and he didn't get injured. That's so the, that's the that's biggest the big win. Right? That's yeah. the big win, right? Is For that he sure. didn't get, didn't get injured. Yeah. So, um, yeah, between him and Olette and Th- Jameer Thurman, I think it was, it was a, it was a solid game. Like I felt like the defense was on their game and the offense was playing really well. And I mean, Montreal's an, uh, now the best a, team in the league. They're right? now the, a nine and one team. They're the best team in yeah. the league. That's what we're forgetting so, here. I think. Yeah. So the fact that we almost won, yeah. like it was, it was close. That's pretty good. Again, it's a moral victory. Third stringer. They were rolling out. There was no Fajardo. Yeah, that's the third stringer. Yeah. So Montreal comes in with their third string quarterback, and they sneak one out. And it, so it's all. I think we can all agree. The Riders lost that game. The Owls didn't win it. Is what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. And yeah. the reason the Riders lost, that dude already manned up and said, "I'm so sorry. This is on me." Like, yeah. It's, it's the best case Ontario to quote the uh, Trailer Park Boys, in that your reason for losing has been fixed. Not like actually, but the, but it's been taken. We have the, exactly. Right? It's been like taken it's, care of. So now you move on. Yes. You say he'll be better. Our quarterback looked great coming back. So there's a lot of good things coming out of this, I think. Yeah, I, I think like overall it was it was it was a positive look for the team because I mean, after you lose to the last in the last yeah. place team and like, you know, a few weeks of losing and the whole thing with the command center, it's just like <laughs> we needed something to turn us around and like and, and we lost. But I felt really good about the game overall. Like there was there it was I felt like we were in it and like we led the stats. Like yep. you look at the stats and we were leading stats wise for, for well, pretty much the whole game. When you look at that too, like like you said, those points were left on the field. Those yes. points by Lothar were left on the field. You put those in the equation and you win. Yeah. So we, there's a now, reason. There's also that that uh, rushing touchdown that Davis Alexander had. Hey. That that was not a touchdown, but <laughs> so we whatever. had a couple of controversial calls. But the point is, none of them mattered. Well, the yeah, end. really, because I mean, if they if they hadn't made that touchdown, um, or if they yeah, if they hadn't made it, if they'd called it, he was out of bounds, which he was. Yeah. Then. We, we would have had a better shot at winning. We yeah. probably would have won, yeah. but that's going to happen, right? And that's why I'm not football, super man. mad yeah, about that's it why they play because the we were just talking about how the command center was overturning way too much. Yeah. So now it would be really bad if we said, oh, they should have turned that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like it's, it's just completely, like, completely hypocritical if we do. So you know, I'm saying we have to, you have to deal with those because those are a part of the game <laughs> as those bad calls. Yeah. It happens. I'm sure that the Alouettes would find calls on us that were like, you know, that, you know. Absolutely, yeah. So... It is what it is, you know. Yeah, I'm hearing you. And I feel it's it's very rare for the riders to lose and then still come out with positives. Yeah. And I, that's what I feel like yeah. is happening here. Yeah. Okay, so where are, they, are they still in first place or did they drop now? Um, I believe they dropped, but I don't actually know yeah. for sure. Okay. And I'm going to ask you another question that we probably don't know. Where are they going next? Uh, Toronto, hey, 5.30 yeah. on Thursday. <laughs> 5.30 local thurs- time. Another Thursday game. Yeah, another Thursday game. There's been a couple. I like those. <sighs> Except that I don't like how everyone forgets about it until it happens. True. Yeah. That's the um, one problem with Thursday games. Yeah, as long as, it's, as long as it's not a Thursday after a Sunday night. Then and I'm Toronto, they got their own issues, hey, with that yeah. Chad Kelly stuff. Yeah, I haven't heard. Mm. heard has, is he is Apparently, he he's back. They said, you mess up once more, you're in big trouble. So uh-huh. it's like a last chance for this dude that... Basically won over the entire league. Everyone loved him, and then he had a bunch of off-field stuff go down, yeah. and now it's a bad look a bad again look, that they're yeah. bringing him in. But yeah. clearly with sports, it doesn't matter what you do off the field. As long as you're doing it on the field, yeah, we're all good. not always. I mean, there's lots of times where you hear about players, they do something. I mean, how you know, with the, yeah. that old Riders team, there's a number yeah, of players true. that did a bunch of you know, crap off-field. The, the, the old CFL. See, I'm not... I'm not as versed. The old CFL, the joke was you could do anything here. Like half the <laughs> half the players in the league were weed dealers. <laughs> like that was the joke, of course. Yeah. And so to sort of go through that it was like the league where you could 
break the law and still be able to play. But it's good to know that's not happening anymore. Yeah. So I appreciate that. So, so yeah, this Chad Kelly, he'll probably be starting, I bet, if that's uh, going down probably, Thursday. Yeah. If I mean, he's officially back. Yeah. So we will uh, see how that goes. So you're feeling good. I'm feeling good about that game. I think okay. we got a pretty good shot because the Argos have uh, have kind of lost it a little bit since the start of the year. I think okay. they're actually five and four as well. Oh jeez. So it's but like they're not five and four and, and one. So else. technically, we're beating them by like one or half yeah, a that. point because. We're five, four, and one, yeah. and they're five and four. Well, you know that's going to be a big deal at the end of the year, right? That's <laughs> oh, going to be that one totally, point that's yeah. going to go, yeah, yeah. It's go crazy. Okay, well, I think we're all caught up. Anything else you want to say, my friend? Uh, check out the viewing room tomorrow. New uh, viewing episode, room. Episode three dropping tomorrow. And if you haven't noticed, we're sporting yes. uh, shirts from the greatest YouTuber in the history. Look at that. Can you lean, lean my way? Yeah, look at that. Photo Prospector. You check him out on YouTube. The best in the biz hilarious when content. it comes to creating stuff and making you laugh so we love him and we support him all the time and uh hopefully one day we'll get to hang out with him around these parts it'll be super fun we'll see we'll see what happens ladies and gentlemen he is our rider insider the face that built the place and my sweet beautiful prince we call him lb Shit. watch yourself watch your head shoulder yeah good walk out well done so there you go I love when we got photo prospector love. That's like my favorite, h- most hilarious dude ever. And whenever we can talk to him, it's always a good time. As we make our way through the Monday edition, it would be a good time now, I believe, to uh, check in with our sweet, beautiful Margaret. If we want to flip over a Maggie Cam. Maggie Cam, look at her. She's so beautiful. Thank you very much. The Maggie Cam for our friends over at Pet Planet on 8th Street, your pet's natural grocer, Mike and Rochelle, along with Maggie's beautiful, handsome boyfriend, Leroy, always there to make your day better. Anything your pets need, they got you covered, I promise you, and you will leave there smiling and happy, and the world seems right again. That's the power our friends over at Pet Planet on 8th Street have. Uh, And if you go in after hours on the weekends, you'll see Kirsten, Shara, or Chris, and they'll help you out as well. Head on over to Pet Planet on 8th Street, and I promise you, you will not regret it. It's so much fun over there. It's almost time for some Maggie's Adventures, I think, again. We had one done. This next guest is the, I guess you could say, the creator of Maggie's Adventures, as she is so good at social media and doing so many other things. She is the co-host of the Past Our Bedtime podcast and another person that we love more than words can say. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Brexit! You made it. Hello. How are you? I'm really good. Maggie was just trying to steal my entrance. I, I, for, that? I forgot to <laughs> add Maggie Wrangler Ma- yep. to your title. Hey. You're getting Such her on all the girl? spots, getting her hitting those cameras. Yeah, she was. Great job. You think she's staring at you right in the eyes, but she was really staring at me. Her Don't one, steal that love her from one, her the one, viewer. Her one love. <laughs> it's me. Uh, yeah, they're lucky. <laughs> we all love you here as you do so, so much. Again, Wendy Brooks Media. Check her out if you hate social media so much that it causes you mental strain so you can take that off your plate yeah and you're really good at it i that's all i'm hearing is you're getting lots of good feedback about all the stuff you're doing that's perfect because yeah i like doing it we appreciate that now before we do anything else i want to make sure we get to this because get to what oh no (laughs) a little ongoing uh, theme we have around here i was gonna check if there was more too i forgot i don't know why i like I like get all excited when I send them to you because I think it's like a funny joke this between me so and funny. you. And then for some reason, right before you're about to read these, I get like so embarrassed. Like my cheeks feel hot. That's the, rightfully so. <laughs> you burned them. So the ongoing theme is Brooksy's post to Facebook back in 2013 is when <laughs> these are from. So 2013. <laughs> and uh, she makes some incredible posts. Or I guess it, what is it called? Status? The statuses, status, Facebook status. statuses. Yeah. yeah. And then she sends them to me and then I just laugh and then I say, <laughs> well, we're going to read these on the air. So that's <laughs> what we're going to do now. By the way, propertyguys.com, welcome to our friends over there, Dax and the team. Not only will they guide you through the buying process, you will also receive a rebate, a rebate from the earned commission. Lots going on with our friends over at propertyguys.com. Wendy Brooks. I'm going to try <laughs> this. I'm going to try to do this as best I can in my Wendy voice. Oh, I... Okay. There we go. So these are her updates from 11 years ago. <laughs> Here we go. You don't get to read them. Oh, you made I'm them. nervous. What? Okay. If all it's right. too bad, don't read it all. Post long. number one. <laughs> well, 
it's finally time for me to go to bed. What a long night. <laughs> Do you remember what uh, happened that long night? I was probably partying. Mm. There was a guy named Zach who liked your status. Oh, oh yeah. If Did, Zach, was Zach like, involved in that long he's night? He's definitely a partier. Yeah, that guy. Yep. So Brooks had Zach. a long night. And then <laughs> same day. <laughs> this is great. It goes from the long night to this one. Ready? <clears throat> Successful night. <laughs> Done drinking for a while, though, <laughs> with lots of O's. No. So I think that po is posted that, and then I posted the long night. Makes no sense. To yeah. Me. So the the ones I post first are at the bottom. Okay. But anyway. So, so also from that day, this was from her friend Nikki. Wendy is awesome as. That's all it says. Yeah. More to it. Did it get cut off? Um, you know what? Me and my friends used to steal each other's phones and just like ah, brag about so ourselves. So yeah. I did that, and she probably stole the phone before I can self promotion. Finish the Very sentence. interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we move to 14 years ago. Oof. So this is from 2010. How old was I? Oh, I was in grade 10. So grade Ooh. 10, Brixie, posting this for the world to see. <laughs> Six more days, and then there's a greater it's, than and a three. It's a heart. Yeah. So what was happening in six days? I can't tell you. Probably said I was gonna see my boyfriend or something. Mm. That's usually the that's usually the status I okay. would make. This is good, and yeah. that gets us to this one. I love this one. <laughs> no. You ready? No. <clears throat> Wendy my, Brooks. My face hurts. From 2010. <laughs> can't believe it. <laughs> no. At least mine don't clap. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Omg. Little X. Big I D. Know, I don't know what that means. I know what? Dragon <laughs> Dragon likes to comment a lot about making cheeks clap. I think that's a joke of some sort. Maybe that's what you were getting at with this. At least mine don't clap. In 2010, what? I wrote a status. <laughs> making cheeks making cheeks <laughs> clap. That is just slander. <laughs> Dragon, you have a microphone. You can talk. <laughs> I, I can't hear what you're saying, though. That is slanderous. I'm just telling the people that I know what clap means because I've heard you say it. But I don't okay, know if you in can't 2000 say that when I'm not on the show. Okay. Well, you're on the show. Every producer is a team member of this show. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be a team member. Okay. If you say those I things. also I want to know what she meant by this. I don't know if clap in 2010 meant that. See, I know. See, everyone's saying clap in cheeks now. So, but but then I would want them to clap. No. Maybe. Okay, do you point. want your cheeks That's to really clap? That's point. the real question. <laughs> Not when I'm going upstairs. Uh, clearly you didn't, <laughs> okay. so that's good. All right, let's see what else we got here. 2013, we're going back now. I'm getting to see these on Murray. All right, Brexy saying to the world on Facebook, Candle Lake this weekend with a bunch of losers. <laughs> let's get drunk. <laughs> Just calling out my friends for being losers. Wow. There's a lot of K's and U's and drunk as well. You're very excited. Let's get, to get drunk. drunk. Like Actually, that. it's probably um, that year I went out to Candle Lake. We all brought alcohol. Not old enough to drink. Don't do that. Don't do it. Um, but we took two different cars. So one car went up early and we made it there and we started drinking. The second car got pulled over and had to empty out like $300 of alcohol oh, on the side of the, the road. Hey, yeah, yeah, and then there was no alcohol when they got, they couldn't buy any alcohol or, nope. and they didn't have anyone to get them alcohol. So that can ruin a whole weekend. It, it almost did. We all had to share. So we shared. And then one day I think we ended up being sober, but you know, sharing Shots. is caring. Look at you. Go. Yeah. I miss Me really and my impressed. loser friends. <laughs> so much uh, emotion in that drunk text there. Yeah. All right. This oh. one's really good. Uh, this is Brooksy again from 11 years ago. <clears throat> I would like to take this opportunity to say that I am very grateful for all my friends and I love you all. <laughs> but if you try talking to me and I'm a bitch today, I'm sorry. I just feel the need to kill someone. <laughs> Brooksy, what was going on August 15th of 2013? I Who probably you? had my period or something. Oh, I don't know. Well, moving right along Maybe from Maybe I got dumped or something. <laughs> it's like so aggressive. <laughs> to all my friends, I love you so much, but I'm a real bitch right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's something. Anyway, love my loser friends. <laughs> uh, 13 years ago. Oh. This is a light one. Worst storm ever. Biggest hail I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not a storm person, as you know. Yeah, I get, you get, I get pretty nervous. scared. Yeah. So the hail yeah. must really threw you off. Yeah. I mean, that's like, you can die from a big enough hail storm, you know? That's true. <laughs> yeah, storms aren't fun. <laughs> All right. One more for us. And this one actually comes from a friend, <laughs> from Amanda, <laughs> and 14 years ago. Oh, Greatest God. time at the X last night, plus 
most epic night ever <laughs> capitals <laughs> with wendy brooks oh uh, yeah and then a couple other people yeah we had a lot of fun at the x so there you go this so. is another exciting segment of <laughs> updates with brooksy from years gone by yeah we're gonna have like soon it's almost gonna be a year of us doing this and then we won't have anything because i don't make statuses like that anymore so we'll just start making them up <laughs> no. i think that would be good i'll make some up for you That'd be great. <laughs> Just put yourself in that mindset of where you were at back then. I found a cupcake in my fridge. <laughs> Yay. Can't wait to eat this in front of the crew. Yeah. <laughs> okay, something like that? Yeah, so fun. That. Awesome. Okay, that's great. Well, what else is going on, man? Talk to me. Well, I this weekend was a crazy weekend in Here Saskatoon. We yes, walk us through it. There were so many events, and it's crazy to think they all happened at the same time. But we had Folk Fest. We had Show and Shine Weekend. We had the YXE Urban Games. Yes. Did you go by there? Yeah, I did get to go by there. Um, Tell me all about it. Ugly Kid Joel was talking about big time on Friday. Yeah, I had like a VIP pass. So it was like I got extra special treatment. Nice. But it is like a bunch of different basketball games, three on three. Yes. So we watched some of that and it was really, really cool to see. And it was really fast paced because it's a it's like half the court yeah, and you got a bunch three. of eyes on that now because you just mm -hmm. had the olympics and people were talking about it so that was really cool to yeah see. it was really cool and then they had like these urban type games so we went and watched a dodgeball tournament no way. that was happening yeah nice. and they also had spike ball tournament we missed that one spike ball's fun yeah and then they had pro wakeboarders on the river no way yeah it was like the coolest thing we watched the wakeboarders do these crazy flips like They'd come like and it was the, so beautiful because the bridge is behind yeah, there. Yeah, the setup's amazing. There. Yeah, it was like the most beautiful thing ever. And then, um, what else was there? Oh, there was like motocross things. We I we, saw some videos of that, like <laughs> motorbikes doing backflips and stuff. Yeah, wild. Crazy. So we checked that out, and then they had like sweet kids area, like mm. so many kid games, like so many food trucks, and this place was like huge, like. The Set whole, up. yeah, Victoria Park was yeah. like, there's so much room for activities. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, good. so many, so many activities. So, yeah, we did check that out and it was a lot of fun. But we went from like Victoria Park and went all the way from Victoria Park to downtown Show and Shine to see the yeah. vehicles. And so it was a lot of walking and it was like 28, but it felt like 31 or something. And I at least you weren't wearing any black shirts that were really hot. I was hot, just going to say, I decided to wear a black shirt like this one Why because did you do that? it had a car on it and I thought it was good for the car show. You wanted to fit in. Yeah. And, and then I made Brad match me because that's what I do. So he was also wearing a black shirt <laughs> and he was also dying. And this guy had a, a tournament in Martinsville before. So he pulled both of his legs. Oh, no. So he's limping and then I'm I'm walking all weirdly because I'm going through IVF and like just dying inside internally. So yeah, yeah, it was like a wild time. So we did that all weekend, and that was the most I've moved in like a week and a half, I think. And I walked all day from 11 to like four. Do you notice that when you do it, like inside in your IVF belly? <laughs> yeah. When you walk too much. Like, <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about we were making jokes. I've been making jokes about going through this IVF process. So when you go through something that's kind of sucks, you make jokes out of it and it makes it feel better. Nice. Um, but, but we're making <laughs> jokes here about it, about how the doctors were telling me that my ovaries, both of them are like three times bigger than my uterus. For everyone who knows what that is. <laughs> gonna get, we, we can get back to all this other stuff. I want to get into this a little bit because it's very interesting. <laughs> no one ever talks about this stuff. Yes, sir. What's a uterus? Okay, what's a uterus? It's like the insides for a girl. The uterus is where you were created by your mom and you lived in there for nine months in your womb in the uterus. The coziest bed you'll ever have. Yeah. And so shout out to everyone who's carried... Children. Children. Yes. And you guys. Yeah. Shout out to your moms. That's right. Shout out to Wendy. 100%. Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> Best mom ever. Yeah. So anyway, they said that... Um, like they're three times bigger than my uterus. So usually it's like probably like maybe like this small, your ovaries maybe, but now it's like this big on both sides. You were saying you can't wear pants. No. And that's crazy. We me. were, yeah, saying I was joking with my family a lot too this past weekend, but it was almost like I could feel like I looked like I was pregnant and I couldn't wear pants that I had to do up. So I started holding my stomach as if I was pregnant and like that. rubbing it so that people didn't think I was like, 
getting yeah. ready. <laughs> I was like, I'm pregnant. I swear I'm pregnant. I'm not just like getting super huge just in one area. <laughs> like it's, it's crazy. And the drugs like make you like also gain weight in your stomach area and in your face. So I've been like just on another level, you know? Well, you're getting a little taste of what carrying a child around will be like, right? Yeah. And you know what? I, I sent a video in to show you how big my ovaries are. You did? I did. Are we going to watch it? I think we should watch it. It's just an ultrasound. It's nothing too crazy. I don't know. Dragon sounds like he's not paying attention. And Dragon right is definitely not paying he's attention. He's having a talk with Network Ryan. <laughs> We're just talking to Dragon right now. We want to know if you could play that uh, video of the ovaries for us. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Here okay. we go. Okay, what are we looking at? Ooh, this is my uterus. Beautiful. And then she goes over to my eggs. You see all those little circles? Yeah. There's like probably Whoa. 11 eggs in that one. Looks like you got a lava lamp in your bed. Yeah, and then it goes to the no my other side, and that one has Whoa. like nine in it. Yeah, those are all eggs. What Isn't that crazy? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A little <laughs> bit, hey? I know. It's like a spider nest in there. So, but the, the story behind this is, was that me and Brad have been like documenting our, like us giving each other needles or whatever, and... And I, so I said, I, I wish we would get more content of us going in because all we have is us at home and you stabbing me with needles every night. And it'd be, it'd be nice to make a video of you Something, just not yeah. stabbing me. Well, it's a very, <laughs> like, nobody talks about this stuff because it's like, I think we can all agree it's a very, you know, rare occasion when yeah. you're in the situation where you have to go through all this. Mm -hmm. I know. And, and just like, I feel like anything else talking about it sort of helps I'd, I'd imagine right yes just to work through what's yes. going on and I have to work through what happened this morning because uh -oh. I I told him that before I was like we need to do this then at the appointment he did the best husband thing ever and was like hey can I take a video and He's I was like always oh. doing that I was like he remembered what an amazing man so excited but then uh oh <laughs> Never Gary mind. I take it back <laughs> he, and it it hurts when they're doing this ultrasound because they really have to like push on it and it's everything's already so big. So I'm yeah. like in pain. And so they're like pushing up in there to get this video and he's videoing it and they're like, okay, we're all done. They start turning on the lights, whatever. And he's like, oh my God, no. I didn't record it. And I was like, are you serious? That hurt more than the whole ultrasound because so she was going so Did fast. Did what we just watched, was that a second try? That was a you second trial. You went back trial. just for the camera? Yeah, and if there was sound on it, you might have heard me going, oh. ugh, because like, it hurt so bad. And the first time I was like kind of laughing it off, like, ha, -ha. And yeah. then the second time I was like, do I why even want I, this video why now? Why did we do this? I know. But yeah. anyway, so he, I had to do that a second time to, to get that shot. And then I told him he owed me Starbucks after. So he went and got Starbucks. But yeah, that was like, uh, Man. that was You have intense. to be a really, really <laughs> good team to get through stuff like that, I think. So that's yeah. good on you guys. That's yeah. a great marriage to be able to go in and do all this craziness. Yeah, we kind of like <laughs> separate things. So because I'm going through all the pain, like he has to like inject my needles for me. So when we were first watching a video, one of the videos said... They have how-to videos for the injecting? The how-to videos. It was like, hold the needle needle like a dart and use a dart-like action to put it in her stomach. And I was like, I was like, Brad, I was like, we can't do that. Don't dart me in the stomach. Yeah, don't dart me, bro. And we had, we had already been doing two shots before that for three days. And this was like a new shot that we had to take. Oh, so I was like, God. why in this video is it telling you to dart me? And every other video it didn't. And then I cried in that video. Cause I was like, I was like, I don't want to be darted. I just like, don't know. It was the exact same as every other shot, but the way the video said it, darted. I was like, I don't want to be darted. And then the first time too, he went in to go give me my needle. He was like holding it like he was gonna stab me, yeah. like like this. Like and he got did like a quick, yeah, yeah, a quick. Anyway, so yeah, that's his job, and his other job is just like tracking our medication, so that when we go back in, he can tell them how much medication we have left. Cause it's amazing. Yeah, and they always ask me how much medication. I'm like, I don't know. You're gonna have to get my husband from the waiting room, cause that's his job. <laughs> so teamwork. I'll, yeah, I'll uh, go through all the pain and then carry the baby for nine months once once it that's happens it. so here, here. all yeah. the positive vibes to you to mm -hmm. use your term vibes yeah and then also all of the guys in the damn family had all these questions about ivf we're all learning that's why we brought it to the uh, forefront of the show here because yeah. it's very intriguing it is very crazy so yeah. if anyone has questions you can let us know 
I'll try and look at them. Maybe now we're grand. We'll look at them. Someone I'm will sure look at them. I'm sure that's what he wants to see. And uh, all, these questions <laughs> all these questions about, about IVF. And eggs and IVF. Um, but yeah, or I am going to be posting my journey on my TikTok soon. So just Very cool. Wendy Brooks, which is funny, is down there. There you are. Wendy Brooks Hit on TikTok. Up. That's all you got to look for, and you'll see my IVF journey. Amazing. It's a beautiful thing. This is the Monday edition of your show. Welcome to it as we are talking IVF with our good Fred Brooksy from the Past Our Bedtime Podcast, also from Wendy Brooks Media. And it's really fun because I never thought I would be talking about IVF on a show. No. and What does IVF stand I. for? In, Let's start asking the dumb in, questions. Intro. Oh, I don't even Someone's know. Someone's going to get it. What does IVF stand for? Someone will get it. Nobody knows. I should know. But it's in intro. Vitro in vitro. Baby. Making. F. <laughs> I don't know. And you know what? I should know that because I'm going through it. But okay. I have all of the. What oh, is it? Go. Internet ah. best friend. Okay. That's you guys. <laughs> anyway. Good one, Dragon. No, it's an in vitro something. Yeah. Fertilization. Uh, there you go. Yeah. So that's what it sounds for. Perfect. And I feel so much more informed today. Yeah. Normally we just <laughs> talk about nonsense around here. So it's nice the, to, you know, I know, really delve into the, the deep stuff. I mean, it is kind of nonsense. <laughs> At my family reunion, my family is wild. Um, we're making jokes. So it started off with some of my family knows I'm going through it. And then there's some of the family that didn't. So I was talking about my hormones the last time I saw everyone and how I was like crying over a sandwich or like stupid things. And then Why are you then crying over a sandwich. Brian got me a sandwich and I cried about it. Oh, because we're so happy. <laughs> yeah. Happy cries. Okay, happy I'll cries. Like and I like forgot your mayo or something. No, no, but they, somebody actually then they gave me chicken too a couple days ago. I almost cried, but I stopped myself. So gave you chicken? Yeah. But you don't eat chicken. I know. I asked for a vegetarian. Oh, I see the other. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were happy for the chicken. No, like, no. no. no and that's when you were upset. I okay. almost cried, but Brad made it before they closed to get me a new one. Um, There's <laughs> nothing your husband doesn't do. There's he a does. reason people say he's the best husband on earth. It's wild. Everything. So good. I know. You're so lucky. Um. Now I forgot where I was going. I feel like I have baby brain because of yeah. all the hormones. Well, but you probably do. I might, honestly. Yeah. Oh, no. Family. Family. The I got to say this. Yes. So Brad comes in and my auntie is introducing Brad. And for some reason, they're like, this is Brad, Wendy's husband. And I was like, for now. And, I, <laughs> and everyone, everyone like <laughs> bursted out like, oh, those hormones are really getting to you. And yeah. I was like, no, I was, I was just kidding. It was just a joke. And then he's like, no, the hormone is probably the hormones. <laughs> like, And so they're all laughing. And then they were making jokes about me having like four babies and Brad's like sitting there like sweating yeah, like he doesn't know what to do. What do I <laughs> he's like, what if she does have four babies? Like <laughs> freaking out. It yeah. could work too good. Hey, <clears throat> come on now. Don't be. You almost smashed the window. <laughs> Dude, we paid like 10 bucks for that window. Chill <laughs> out. Jeez. I was like, why are you so mad about Scared four me. babies, yeah, no bro? Kidding. I thought maybe I offended Ooh, you. That's, that's what I was thinking too. I was very aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Was very, did you at least get the bug? Okay, good job. That's half the battle. That's half the battle. At least it wasn't for nothing. Yeah. So, yeah, they were just like joking around. And then, um, yeah, just laughing about how I have 21 kids inside me right now and yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, that's the other thing. So, apparently, like a normal number of eggs <laughs> is like one or two. And you're just carrying around like a satchel. Yeah, a satchel. A satchel full <laughs> of eggs. You're like Indiana Jones entering the Temple of Doom with yeah. the Sankara stones. I got Sankara <laughs> stones. I got one here somewhere. They burn your hands. I imagine be the same the sort of thing. LB space right now. Okay. He knows what's up. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely a satchel. It's like a lot, which is great because that's what you want. You need lots because they slowly dwindle as you go through like fertilizing them and then freezing them and unfreezing them. So the more, the merrier. And then you get to pick the healthiest one, which we've also made jokes about me making a superhuman. Yeah. <laughs> because, it's about time. Because I just could choose well, i don't get to actually choose but i just we get to choose out of 21 which one's the healthiest so yeah. hopefully no, 21 and but. this is and <laughs> it all goes back to how grateful i imagine you guys are just to have the opportunity to do something like this i know it's a lot of money it's mm -hmm. a lot of work and it's a lot of this and that but in the end if you can get to where you want to go mm -hmm. that's it's a huge thing so we uh we we got your guys' back. We love and support you yeah. so much. And I hope this IBF stuff works out for you because it's a, we've, mm -hmm. we've seen it it's, take its toll already. And there's been, like, Brooksy was supposed to be on 
uh, on one of the days. On and Friday. She, that couldn't make it because she was dying. I literally, that was like the first day I think I had to take that new shot. And that really got my yeah. emotions going. I was like, well, I don't want to come on the show right now and like start crying. cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave the crying to me. I had a nice. Then like, I'd be messing with my mic all the time. Well, <laughs> using all my, all my weapons. Hey? Yeah. I was driving home from uh, Echo Bay, beautiful Echo Bay on the weekend. And I was listening at my little boom box thing yeah. in my car. Yeah, I put car. it in the Dodge Shadow right on top. So it's just like a big speaker in front of my face. And I was listening to all my old music that I love to listen to. And I forgot. I stopped listening to all of my old music for a while because uh, the new Gary 3.0 that I am is still so raw and emotional Aww. when it comes to music that every song I listened to, I would like cry sing along to on the way home. It was so, <laughs> but it was good because it's like, yeah. you know, you get a good cry out and I hadn't cried in months. Like when we were building this place, the big joke was, oh, Gary's going to cry. Don't say anything emotional. It's because, you know, you come yeah. out of this shell that you create to protect yourself and then everything just hits so much harder. I, was, I imagine... That's sort of what it would be like as like you're adding extra hormones mm -hmm. and extra things yes. with your body and is, you get triggered with stuff you don't even know. Yeah. And like I thought I was perfectly fine. And the very first time we went to go take our needles, like I all like I probably cried like three times and I've been taking them for like a week now. But the yeah. first time I wasn't even I didn't even get stabbed yet. And I was just crying because I was like and I was frustrated because I like we have to go through this process. And so working through that emotion of just realizing like I have to do this and I can't do this the natural way um, is like a huge thing to, to conquer. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, for sure. But then also every time I say that, like I was like talking about it at the kitchen table, I was like, yeah, it just sucks. Cause like, I can't like do it the natural way. And our 12 year old daughter was like, no, nope, I don't want to hear about the right. natural way. Nope. <laughs> She's like, that's sort of that. interesting too. Hey, like you you can go about talking about it without having to have that talk. I know. That's what that's my family cool. was saying. My family yeah. was like, we feel so invested because we don't have to ask you every time you guys are having sex. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> we, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so. it's right. They're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like we've uh, done enough of this IBF talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we'll keep the ball rolling. But again, good, great job. We got, we got your back. Even if we yeah. make these grossed out faces, we, we got you here with your family. And uh, we are on this journey with you. So thank you for yeah. uh, giving us some time while you're going through it. Yeah. And then anyway, you talked about coming back from the lake. How was that? It was awesome. Did Shout you? out to all the lake friends out there. The, I had no idea. Mum had mentioned and my sister Stace had mentioned, like, yeah, the neighbors are coming over from the lake. I was like, okay, I was picturing, like, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 at max. There were, like, 60 neighbors from Echo Bay all the <laughs> way up and down that came over. So the whole deck was packed and the downstairs was packed. And I had Maggie. And this is, this is the fun part. <laughs> so I had Maggie with me. Your and emotional support dog. Yeah, because you know how I'm with crap. Yeah, I was so going to ask that. There, and I'm like, oh, so I'm just trying to stay out of the way because I still want to talk to people. I see people I know and I just say hi and good to see you. But I had Maggie on her leash because I didn't want to just let her walk around because the gates for the deck are always open because people are coming and going and she'd mm -hmm. just take off and run down the beach or something. So I had to hold on to her. And then I thought it would be a good idea to walk right through the middle of the party into the cabin <laughs> and I got water for Maggie. So I got a little container and I hit the cold water, which I realized after was a bad idea. So I hit her with the ice, ice cold oh, no. instead of like the normal temperature water. <laughs> you give her a brain And freeze. I gave her a big, big thing full <laughs> ice cold water. She drank it because she was super thirsty. So about two minutes, like just going. I'm like, all right, we're good. So I walk back out through the, through the cabin to the deck where everyone is. And right when we get out there, in front of everybody, <laughs> Maggie just honks like, Wah! oh yeah. And I hear, oh no, oh no. Uh, and I'm like, what, what? And I look down, I like, go, oh, God. Just she puked. I'm like, okay, this uh, is all right. Too much I'm, water. It was too cold. It like, shocked her system, yeah. I think is what it was. So then I'm like, okay, well, there's just one pile. We'll get it. So I turn around to go get paper towel. And bleh, bleh, <laughs> another one. So there's two piles of puke in the middle, <laughs> in the middle of, of my like, mom's birthday party. Uh, right there on the deck. With all those people So I'm there. freaking out. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to go get paper towel. 
and like cleaning <laughs> solution while holding on to the dog. Then luckily someone took the dog. So I'm like, okay, that's one thing down. <laughs> I ran in, got paper towel in front of everybody, like 60 people watching me on my yeah. hands and knees, pouring water, getting the cleaner stuff going. Then there's like little chunks of dog food in the cracks. So Ew. I got to get a fly Ew. swatter and pushing it through. So and that was between that and all like the anxiety and all like the being around people. Yeah. I was like, okay, I think I'm done here. This is the last so for we, today. And so we, we had to leave a little bit early. Um, but, but we got great pictures. Great pictures were taken. People say that like dogs, okay, well, it's probably true, but like a dog is almost like having a toddler for like your whole 13, 15, 18 years you have them or whatever. You literally have a toddler for, you gotta look for that whole them. time. They're I always chewing say everything, puking on, everywhere. Yeah, on the lowest possible level. Because I know people get very upset when you compare animals to, to humans. To humans. Which I, get. I know. So I was Absolutely. like, we're going back down here. Yeah, we're not, so we're not doing that. On the very, very <laughs> basic level, of you have to be aware of everything that dog is doing at all times around people. Mm -hmm. Even if like people, like you got like 20 people feeding her a little snack, all of a sudden she's got a full belly full of food yes. she shouldn't have in her. Like there's all these little things. Yes, or there was a baby at the reunion I was at with a nude puppy. Yeah. And the dog was like jumping at the baby. Can't but, have that. And even though the dog was small, it was big enough to knock over the baby. You know yeah. what I mean? So or you have to like watch the dog. Just scratch it. Like babies are so fragile. Yeah. So I, we're not trying to say puppies are humans. No. We're not saying they're toddlers or babies. We're saying well, on a I very say they, tiny, tiny level, a lot of there's the time, a little bit of a comparison. Well, you even have to like clean up their poop all the time. Like <laughs> there's a lot of toddler-esque things that on dogs paper, do. Yeah. On paper, And they don't sure. grow out of it no matter how old they are. You Sometimes know? it just gets worse when they're older. <laughs> it's they true. They turn into having the old, <laughs> the old person in the house. Yeah. Walking around with diapers on and stuff, oh. you know? My dogs are wild. Like, give a, And then you give them, like, a stuffy toy and the stuffings, like, yeah. all over the house. Royal Anders got Marge a new uh, chipmunk. Yeah. Get this. So this lets you know what Royal Anders is like. Uh, bless his beautiful, beautiful heart. I haven't seen he, him forever. He comes in. He'll be here tomorrow. He comes in, and I guess you won't be here, but he'll be here. <laughs> and he says, I got this toy for Margaret. I'm like, oh, right on. Here we go. This is great. So he pulls it out. I'm like, oh, it's a chipmunk. He goes, yeah. I named it Theodore. <laughs> I'm like, Theodore? What do you mean? He's like, you know, from, from the chipmunks. Um, yeah. I'm like, dude. <laughs> If you're going to use the chipmunks as a reference, you go with Alvin. Everyone knows Alvin. Theodore's the third one. Yeah. Simon's even above Theodore. Theodore's like the Donatello of the group. <laughs> and so he's, I'm, I don't know if he's just a huge fan of Theodore and the chipmunks. Which one is Theodore? But he named Theodore. He's the, the one, one with, with the, glasses, the glasses? The Donatello. Yeah. 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 I know him more than Simon. Really? But maybe, okay, maybe he's second level. But no one touches Alvin. Alvin but is... Alvin. The chipmunks, yeah, he's That's really in the song. That's all I can hear, yeah. <laughs> Me, I want the hooly hoop. It's my oh. favorite Christmas song. <laughs> that was not high enough. I can't get that high. I want the hooly hoop. <laughs> that was a little bit better. <laughs> Stop Probably it. the best. He's right judging next, us over there. <laughs> right, well, that's because he can sing. <laughs> right next. Yeah, can I hear you too? <laughs> right next to uh, Christmas and Hollis, the chipmunks Christmas song. is probably the best Christmas song out there. Really? There is no way. Oh, man. Have you heard Run DMC do Christmas time? It's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. Mama's cooking chicken and collard greens. It's the best Christmas song of all time. Oh. And then guy yeah, number one, a.k.a. One. Crazy Kyle, he's all about the uh, chipmunks one. So those always get played but, at the parties. <laughs> but chipmunks is like, I think you need to have a like a kid who like actually listens to chipmunks a few times. Yep. And then you're like, this is this is not it anymore. Not this chipmunk song. It doesn't hit like it used to. <laughs> no. Eh? I can see that. Yeah. I imagine how that recording studio was. Hey, it's, you guys, doesn't matter how you sing because we're just going to tone your voice to the highest pitch possible so you sound like a chipmunk. Yeah. So just, you know, sing whatever. But you know what I would love to do sometime? What's I would that? love to get he like helium or just like a few helium balloons and like try and like have a competition with you where we say stuff and whoever laughs first loses. Deal. You know? And then yeah. you just, you just say whatever. Put something on the line though. Hmm. You just slap the person with curtis anderson's movie instruments of evil or a tortilla oh a tortilla slap sounds nice yeah I just catch it with my mouth but make sure there's some burritos in there <laughs> burritos? we had uh, another funny instance and this was the first time this has come back to bite me <laughs> at the, the birthday party <laughs> out at echo bay our uh, good friends uh, bob and marge were there who we, uh, we love so so much and uh, me not thinking whenever margaret or maggie is acting up i'll say march hey cool it over there you know i'll let her know let's see you can see she knows she's it. like what she's like what did i do what did I do? it's all good <laughs> you're good but so bob and marge are there so the first couple times maggie's you know sniffing around and she sees a big uh bowl of chips so she's getting close to it and i'll hey marge no get away from there marge and she's like oh okay and 
about the third time I did it, everyone looked at me and then looked at Marge, the human being. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. I just, I call her Marge when she's, when she's in trouble, when she's acting up. And then I realized so I just funny. put another foot in my mouth because now I'm making it like her name is a punishment right in front of an actual, an Marge. actual Marge. Yeah. So uh, that went on. And then I was like, I'm so sorry. And I, I said Maggie like once, but the rest of the day was still, Marge, get over here. Marge, get away from there. <laughs> and so there's a lot of confusion. That's so puppy so funny. names with humans are uh, tough to navigate. Yeah. That's what I learned. That's so I think hilarious. that's why animals, oh, it's so funny when animals have human names, eh? I love it. Like, if I see a dog named Gary's the best. Or a dog named Charles. Like, yeah. what is that? That's cool. <laughs> so cute. Our old, uh, our old <laughs> history teacher, Mr. Gray over at Aiden Bowman, had a dog named Gary. Really? Yeah. So we'd always talk about his dog, Gary. And uh, we bonded over that. And then I started bringing him a coffee crisp and a coffee before every class. And then he just let me leave. And I passed with like an 80. Oh, my God. It's awesome. Bribing teachers. So don't ever do it. My Not good. I told my mom that I wanted to name my first child Emma. And I was oh. like, I'm going to name my first child Emma. And it would kind of like fit with like our old grandma's name. I think her name was like Euphemia. And I just like was like to make it not whoa, so whoa, crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Euphemia? Euphemia was her Where name. Where is Euphemia from? I don't know. That was just on the gravestone. That's all. <laughs> that one, that's but you don't all know I'm like doing. where she grew up or lived. No, or she's anything? like my great great great. Yeah, so this would be great like, grandma. Oh yeah. But that's... she's just like buried with the, yeah, with the relatives group. I know. Yeah. yeah. And so then I was like. Well spoken. Perfect. Beautiful. That's not me. Look at this guy go. <laughs> yeah. You're so... well spoken. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so Give yourself some credit. I told my mom I was gonna name my uh, firstborn Emma. And if it was a girl. Yeah. And then two months later, she got a new dog and named it Emma. And now I have a stepkid named Emma. So there's a lot of confusing. There's confusion. too many Emmas now. I'm they like, stole your name. She stole my name. This and is then, like Costanza and Seinfeld with the yeah. name seven. Yeah. And then I was like, well, now it's Carmen. Now you're confusing yelling at Emma when Emma's there because yeah. you stole my name. And too I still had an Emma anyway. So <laughs> anyway. But yeah. So that's a lot. That's a lot of, that's what reminded me of the people names for dogs. I think that's why lots of dogs get, get named non-human names. Yeah. So that like, doesn't happen. Well, is Ziggy a real name? No. Ziggy mm. is a real name. Is There's it? a guy oh, on yeah, TV that has yep. yogurt. He's always like, I'm Ziggy and my yogurt is better <laughs> than others. Yeah. I have Ziggy I've and then I have Lincoln, which is a real name, but I call him Link, which Link is also, is not a name? Shout out to Hyrule. Yeah. <laughs> that's the dude that saves Zelda every time. I love that link. Also, <laughs> just with links alone, it's very like I think of like sausage links, you know, <laughs> missing links. Why? You are the weakest link. What? Goodbye. The cat, the link, the links. No, it's a links. That's not a link. That's a links. <laughs> not to be confused with a bobcat. Yeah. If you really want to get into no. it. Well. <laughs> Got a couple more minutes to go here on the Monday edition of your show, hanging out with our best pal, Brooksy, who you know from her amazing show, the Pastor Bedtime Podcast, as well as all the social media stuff. Mm -hmm. And I want to put some love out there for all of our sponsors and advertisers here at the Dufferin Avenue Media Network, including our new one, PropertyGuys.com coming in. Aquaman Limited. I was hanging out with the owner, uh, my brother-in-law, on the Saturday at the party as well. We had yeah. a bunch of good talks. And underwater drones are booming right now. Really? Yeah. And they're water monitoring and water sampling. This is so cool. Man. What do they use it for? Well, to literally inspect inside the different lines. So if you have an issue and you don't know oh. where it's at, they just send it down the line and it just I drones in. It. And it's like, there you go. It's kind of like a, those cameras they put on the end of a snake that you put down the toilet, mm -hmm. which are also mm -hmm. very fun, by the way. You know, I've been thinking the ocean is only 80% explored. Why wouldn't you make some kind of drone to go down there and look at it more? Like how they make drones to go into space. Like how do we know more? Oh. Pressure will blow them up. Well, Leave I feel like scientists could figure out the pressure. That's such a weak excuse. Well, didn't they, didn't they have, uh, <laughs> didn't they James Cameron? Yeah, but we made it to the, we made it to the planets. Didn't, didn't James Cameron, <laughs> didn't James Cameron go down to like Mariana's Trench? Mariana's the, Trench no. is a band, isn't it? <laughs> I should put that as an update on your status. Mariana's Trench is a band, dummies. <laughs> it's the deepest, what's it, the deepest hole in the world, basically? That's what all the way down. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> you dare keep it to yourself. Okay. So I, I feel like there's something there. Anyway, <laughs> just wanted to get that out. Okay. I won't say it, but look, nickel plumbing, another great one. Do you know what? Nickel plumbing and heating, dare I say the greatest plumbing and heating business in the history of mankind. 
They've yep. done so much incredible work from my grandpa to my dad to my brother. There's nothing they can't do, and they are here for you. Such an incredible team, and I can't say enough good things. My friend Kim, Kim, who helps out there, uh, amazing. Everyone, they do Hi, such Kim. great jobs. So <laughs> just want to put that out there. Yeah, she's always she's watching. Hey. Oh yeah. She's we telling me all the things yeah. that I say, and I was like, "Whoa, I forget sometimes that people are watching me we've and what reached, I say." <laughs> we've reached an interesting point. We had that little non-meeting meeting here before the show, and we were talking about the the amount of growth that we've gone through so far, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And now people are watching and people are interacting. So we are working on a way to uh, incorporate that more as we move forward because it seems like there is a demand for that. So we're going to have a big announcement on our 100th episode extravaganza, which say. will be next Wednesday, Wednesday, I believe, by the sounds of things. Yeah. Oh, what do you so think we should do? Down. Tell us what you think we should do. You could even go on social because I'll see that and tell us what we should do for our 100th celebration. Or if Dragon's looking, we could get a little serve up. Or you serve could email us up. by going serve to up. this pizza. Ah, look at that. Yes. It's bigger. Look at LB. You make it bigger? Yeah. That's awesome. Now my mom can see it too. <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> Duffernav.com. Yeah. And let us know what you'd like us to do for our 100th episode. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to be big. Wah, 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 We're going to have big announcements. We're going to have a big sort of grandiose <laughs> show. Maybe it might be the first show where we go longer than an hour. It's so hard for we me could extend a little bit. to not say that's what she said for all of those yeah. comments. <laughs> Very mature of you, Brooksy. But Very anyway, mature. that's Wednesday. If I'm not getting my eggs removed, I'll yeah. make sure I'm here. We'll make sure but I might clean. be in surgery. So well, set. we'll get you on the Zoom because you're a vital part of this operation. That'd be we'll so Zoom funny. you for the egg on room. I'll be on Ativan just like <laughs> <laughs> so much. You up. guys, you guys, <laughs> they got all my eggs. They got them. <laughs> Place back. your bets. <laughs> Which IVF egg is going to make it? <laughs> That would be pretty. <laughs> one or one to twenty-one, you could guess. What do you want to do for the hundredth episode? Anything? Any, no. Anything in mind? I my suggestion was Gary eats a hundred hot dogs and I eat a hundred carrots. <laughs> <laughs> and one bite. Yeah, one per second. No, carrots are Dude, hard to chew though. That's hard. I still want to chase that uh, chicken nugget record in Guinness. What is I it? I did the math on it. It's like a nugget and a half per second, and I feel like I could do it. No, uh, Gary. As long as I got that delicious barbecue sauce, I could do it. No. Just like, what are you opening your throat? I didn't know you could open your throat so oh, wide. <laughs> bring in the nuggets. For nuggets, I'll do anything. Do, what, do they dip it in water though, or is it just the sauce that makes it? Well, you gotta dip down it in there. something. Yeah, you can't just raw dog it. Right. Don't be gross. <laughs> Stop that. Hey, that's like the worst thing. That's like the third you, time I've heard someone say that. You know what I'm learning? I'm learning that you have a bit of a immature mind. Okay. Yes, but what else does raw dog mean? Well, an uncooked hot dog. When you obviously. raw dog it? Yeah. It means it you're not means cooking you're, your hot dog. You're just eating it. You're raw dogging it. Dogging. I don't rog know what dogging. you're trying to say here. <laughs> raw, raw, wait, wait. I'm not sure what you're wait, trying wait, to say. Wait, 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 wait. I'm having a malfunction. Okay. It's a raw hormones. dogging. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's the baby brain. All baby 21 brain. of my babies. You got it. <laughs> See, you got to use this time, hey? You have the excuse now. I know. Well, from now until... The process. Until... Well... So basically, I'm hoping to be pregnant in November. Woo! Woo. Maybe we'll have a little baby shower on the show. I'd love that. <laughs> and then, so from now until nine months after, so it'll be like 10, 11 months of me being like this, I think. So Perfect. Yeah. You're going to get a show. Nothing but incredible content. <laughs> we, no, we, we can bet on so many things, not just like the egg, <laughs> yeah. but we can also bet on the amount of tears. Yeah. Or when my belly button show, will pop out. Or the popping of the belly button. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. My first stretch mark. Hey, I got a lot of lows. Oh my God. They're fun. Really? Yeah. Where? On your back? Did you go oh, too right fast? Right here. I was oh. fat. I was 283 pounds. I got it in between my legs. Like a little tiger. I'm okay down there. I got, no. I got, I got real strong legs. <laughs> so like, so now they're like a like a tiger leg. That's how you know you're strong. When you grow so much muscle, now you are just a tiger. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like it? I just like leaving you to talk to see how long you'll go. <laughs> I could, I could have went for a really long I time. I know I was gonna, but then I thought, yeah, my, I better not. My friends used to play this game with me where they would just name any object or anything just like a mailbox and then i only had like 10 seconds to come up with a story about the mailbox <laughs> yeah about the mailbox uh -oh. get that water <laughs> get that water girl don't let that ibf beat you i'm so i'm actually so good at it maybe not right now because my brain's all like mush but how long does the story have to be 
uh, just any story. I could be like, every year when I go to Assy Acres, me and my friends take the side by side to go get mail. Like that's a memory. It's the usually mailbox. a memory. Okay. So like if I said, coffee cup to you. I broke mine last week. It was so sad. Yeah. See, that's a, so easy. That is good. Or you can say like, a fan. Yes, I am of you. No. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> pretty good. Silly. Pretty good. <laughs> I see what you're saying and I like it. Anyway, that was, that was a game we used to play. But I could come up with like elaborate stories and like I, I've had a crazy life. That's one thing. When bad things happen to you, it's good for when you're telling stories at a party. You know, that's the best part yeah, about it. I'll even take that one step further. The growth. Like I've had mm -hmm. so many like self-inflicted things happen to me <laughs> where you learn. Like there's such big, horrible mistakes or situations that you know you're never doing that again and you change your course in life because of them yeah that's, yes. what, that's what people are talking about when they say i wouldn't change a thing because i wouldn't be the person i am today yes you when learn you from back. every mistake yeah and then you have a cool story to tell that's so that's and hopefully you'll grow as a person keep making mistakes and network ryan said today like his goal is to be um comfortable and being uncomfortable yeah and i think that's Powerful like a word. is like a huge one like just like being able to be uncomfortable in situations is like how you learn and grow too. And usually if you're uncomfortable, it could be a story as well. So there's that as well. This is your show. <laughs> the only show that we know of so far live on YouTube, Monday to Friday, four to 5 PM. And the only show that we know of so far <laughs> that can teach you life lessons about the importance of making mistakes and teach you about IBF at the same time. Yeah. All at once and writer football. And all update you on the riders. All in the same show. <laughs> when I like this, when I first dreamed up this concept, this that's ex up. that's exactly exactly where I wanted to be. I wanted to put a show on, just like the show we used to do on the old the old job, a show that could be about anything. Mm -hmm. I refuse to put us in a box here, so it's so cool to know. By the way, Bamford and Co. Podcast, loving it. Another one coming up this Wednesday. We'll be talking with them tomorrow. They are killing it already. With the podcast game. Never did it before. They walk in and say, this is unbelievable. I can't believe how awesome it is. Oh, wow. It's very I cool. actually need to get on that one and watch it. So if you need to learn anything about realty and others, like it's, it's a great show. They I'm probably, I don't know. They look smart. So I'm guessing I'll learn a lot. <laughs> they look smart. <laughs> they are smart. And you will learn a lot. Dragon, shall we play our way out of here with a little bit of Frankie's fingers? Dun, 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 dun. Wait for him. I know he's talking. Wah, wah, wah. You might have to tune him in, hey? Are you guys debating in there? LB is going to have to tune him in. Tell him about the importance of paying attention to the show. Yeah, that's something we can learn together. We could all be better <laughs> if we paid attention to where we were in the hour. Oh, so there you got to be present in the moment. Uh, <laughs> which we are. Yeah. Oh, I just talked about how awesome the show this was. I just, I, I'm so happy and grateful that we have uh, put on another great one. Yeah, you know, I think I'm playing the piano. You are, you're, doing, you're a little too fast, you gotta slow it down. Still too fast. <laughs> it reminds me of the hand off of uh... Oh, we had one. When Noel was here, he did really? it underneath, yeah, he put it up when he was playing like uh, Cousin It, no, The Thing. The Thing, thing. Yep. thing from Adam's Family. Yeah. That's the one. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> anyway. Adam's Family. <laughs> To LB, our rider insider, the face that built the place, and my mister, everything, my beautiful prince. Thank you for getting us updated on the riders. Next game this Thursday against the Argos. To uh, La Dragon, we got him <laughs> on the ones and twos today. And uh, he also was talking about a lot of fun slang that he likes to use. And then he says, oh, I can't defend myself as slander, so he put him on the mic. So it's okay now. <laughs> so we'll happy we fixed that. I love you, LB, also from the viewing room. Uh, Network Ryan in the house as we continue to prep for the big 100th episode next Wednesday. Huge announcement coming uh, involving you and us. So that will be very cool. I cannot wait to share that with you as we grow even more moving forward. To Brixie, thank you. You uh, did a great job like you always do. Thank you. You get a little sweaty? I feel like I got a little sweaty in here. Today. I've been really sweaty. You know, I'm carrying around all these babies. I just a lot of work. <laughs> Those swollen ovaries. <laughs> I can only yeah. imagine what you're going no, through. But yeah, again, good hot. practice for when you get into it. Yeah, when I'm actually like 100 pounds. This will be good. Yeah. So, uh, well, I am you. actually 100 pounds, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm actually more than 100 pounds, so let's move on. <laughs> 
Thank you to you for uh, tuning in whenever we do these little things that we do. We appreciate all the support and all the love and just thank you a million times. Uh, and to all of our friends, like especially over the weekend, all the people I talked to, I'm looking very forward to doing more stuff with you moving forward as we grow this amazing thing. Uh, we're going to get back to meetings, I guess. Monday meetings. Yes. They're actually pretty fun here, though. And I would love to play more video games. That might happen, too. <laughs> Yay. Karma's very real. Remember that, all right? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.